Hello, hello. Got Kenny Evans here. Another car video. And the topic of this video is you are a reflection of the women you attract. It's very simple. Like attracts like. Birds of a feather to flock together. You do have oil and water don't mix. But there's a reason that the oil is on top of the water and it's not out of the cup. And sure, you have opposites attract, but there's a reason that they are attracted to each other. That thing that keeps them together is what is so important. Because that's your chemistry, that's your connection, your common ground. You know, so that's also very important. Because the, depending on how that is um, rooted, whether it's rooted in confidence and strength, or negativity and insecurity will determine how your relationship will go. It is so important, you know? And also, that, that part, depending on how your relationship will go, is determined on how you guys are as individuals. It, that's even more important. Because if you're a strong, confident individual, or if you're a strong, confident individuals, you will attract other strong and confident individuals. But if you're a weak and insecure individual, you will attract other weak and insecure individuals. So it's very important. You can't have a strong and confident person with a, a, a weak and insecure person. They won't stay together. The strong and confident person will leave. Just naturally. You know what I mean? But the key is, when you have two weak and insecure people, they attract each other and they're in a relationship. The relationship is terrible. Usually, it's a woman leading, but even if it's a man leading, because sometimes you could have a weak, insecure man who has a weak, insecure woman who follows his lead, and they're still in a relationship, but they're miserable. You know, typical, typical bad relationships that you could just think of. Lying, cheating, manipulation, maybe abuse, you know, um, you know, you just all that stuff. Insecure people, they got to back and forth each other. Oh, you do this to me. I do this to you. You do this to me. I do this to you. And it never ends. Constantly breaking up. The person that wants that and is okay with dealing with that is the weak and insecure person, the non-select man. Only those kind of people will put up with that is because that's what they feel they deserve. And that's who they attracted because that's the best they feel they could get. So as that's the best they feel they could get, they're willing to put up with it Sometimes it's because they think a girl looks good too. So oh, she looks so good. Oh my gosh, she's wifey, but she treats them like shit. She's a terrible personality. She's not easygoing. She's not obedient. She's not a submissive. You know what I mean? She's not good in bed, but they like being with her because she looks good. It's a lot of marriages today. You know? Or you got on the other side, a woman. She does not find this guy attractive. She doesn't respect him. She's she's miserable with him. She thinks he's boring. But because of the money, or even looks, money, and status, all of that, she's willing to put up with it. Get that family. Get the security. But there's no love. And they're miserable. But it's because that's what she wanted. She didn't want love. She didn't want, you know, entertainment. She didn't want fulfilling sex. She wanted security because at the same time, that man wanted that security too, who she married. They both didn't want real happiness in their relationships. So it is really important that you become a man of value.
I'm not talking about looks, money, and status, all that. No. I'm talking about being the best you can be. Ensure your appearance. Ensure in whatever um, way you do make money. Do it for you to make yourself happy. Do what you love. You know, have quality friends and relationships, family relationships. That kind, Have that kind of status. Because when you get that and you value that, you will also have other people who you will attract other people, other women who value the same things. It's just very important. Because if you, as a self-respecting man, get in a relationship with a woman, and she's cussing, she's loud, she's disrespecting you, disrespecting other people, and people see that in public, that looks bad on you. That looks bad on you. And people keep that in mind. It's like, what is wrong with this guy to be with that kind of girl? It looks bad on you. But the fact that you put up with it shows you have that kind of energy within you because you're okay with it. Because again, if you're a strong, confident man, you wouldn't put up with that disrespect and that negativity and that insecurity. You wouldn't put up with it. Just, it just You just don't do it. Out of self-respect. Because you who self-respects yourself you're going to also want people who respect you as well. And of course, respect themselves as well. You know? So, you got to understand. You have to build yourself into the person who is um, attractive to women. But you have to find women who are attractive to themselves and men, obviously, the, as well. Not just because of how they look, but their personalities and what they're doing with their lives. Because when you have two confident and strong individuals, then you're able to really bring value to the table. You guys enjoy each other's company. You enjoy each other's personalities. Sex is great. The woman is generally more submissive and obedient. Excuse me. And easygoing. Life is good. You know? And then you're able to have kids in peace. And you pass down those values to your children and therefore hopefully they will find the same values in a partner when they are ready. I mean, it's all so simple, so easy. You want people who are like you because it makes your life easier. But you just have to be that person who is a value and who people want to be with. Because at the same time, you have the confident and strong people. You have the weak and insecure. And like I said, you have the drama. But then kids, if you decide to have kids, they see that. And that's what they look for in the relationship, in their relationships. Unless they learn. It is so important because it's not just about you. I mean, if you don't want to have kids, that's cool. But it's for your future generation as well. And sure, they will have the tools given by you in seeing your relationship. And of course, they will hope they will have the opportunity to learn, hopefully. But it's hard to change. It's hard to change. It truly is. It's hard to change. You know, if if you don't have that will. You don't have the desire, the knowledge, the confidence. You have to get it from somewhere else. So, you're in a relationship, you're complaining about what this woman is doing or what this man is doing. And 
the ironies are still there. But you're there because you want to be. Nobody's putting a gun to your head. So you got to look at yourself. And ask yourself, what am I still comfortable with this for? And only you can answer that. And I get it. You can say, oh man, I'm married. I don't want to go through a divorce. And what will people think? But again, you're deciding to suffer because of what other people think. And that, again, that's a reflection of your, your weakness and your insecurity. So what do you want? What do you want? Do you want to be the strong, confident person? Or do you want to be the weak, insecure person? The choice is yours. <laughs> the choice is yours. You know, so... I appreciate it. I'm glad y'all are here. Definitely learn. Apply what I'm teaching here. You will have happier, better relationships. You know, but you know, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree or disagree. And of course, if you find value in this video, hit that donate button. And uh don't forget to hit that notification button so you get notified whenever I upload these uh, incredible videos. But until next week, y'all be safe, and I'll see y'all then.